Okay, in this chapter we will talk about how to transform an item into another object type. We use map method inside the stream for this. In our example we convert a circle into a triangle. Okay, this is done by passing a function into the map method. For, for demonstration, inside it let me create inside it let me define some dates um, as a text and put, put hi in this chapter i will create a list of string date list and i will add and i will add some dates as a text inside them let's say, okay and some other values let's say 0202 02 and 0303 03 some random values okay after that i will transform each item into a real date object one by one hi in this chapter i will show you how we filter the items inside the stream as you remember we may filter the items inside the stream by using a predicate and the filter method inside the stream so you may use as many you may use as many as you may use as many as filters predicates while processing a single stream to demonstrate you to demonstrate you the filter method i will create a class first it is player this player method will have three now since this parse operation may throw an exception i will surround this method with try catch and if an exception occurs i will return not simply okay after that i will convert this date list into a stream by using the date method date list dot stream and i will obtain a stream of string let's say string stream okay now I will transform all the items one by one by using map and inside the map method I may ref I may pass a function okay since our function is static I will refer it by class name this operation operator and then convert date so each item will be transformed into a brand new object by applying this method that's why this string will be converted into a date by using this method and each item will be returned by date okay after after transforming all the items one by one i will print out all the values system out print ln now let's see the result You see, we transformed all the strings into date objects one by one by using this simple invocation. On the string, we mapped all the items one by one by using this method. Now let's write another uh, function here, a static function. Okay, this will simply return a boolean, and it will decide that if uh, this date is weekend or not let's say is weekend and it will accept a date okay i will use a calendar calendar dot get instance and calendar set time is the given date and then calendar calendar dot day of week equals to calendar Sunday or Saturday and we will return this value okay we have done a similar example in the previous chapters but for repeating I'm using them again is weekend now we will filter weekend days inside this list how to do that after mapping all the dates we will filter by using a predicate since our method returns a boolean and gets only one input we may use this as a predicate reference that's why i'm using transform example this operator and this weekend 
this simply filter all the dates which is weekends let's find the weekends first so this date and this date is weekends so without iterating over all the list we just define the logic and paste this function into this filter or this map that's all this is the functional style programming okay but we were searching for weekdays but but we are now but we now find uh, weekend dates that's why we need to negate this predicate for negating the predicate we will convert this into a lambda expression let's say the lambda and since we are using lambda expression now we we need to invoke uh, this method properly that's why i'm using parentheses as a traditional method call and pass d here and then i will change this to a dot because i'm not referring to a function reference but i'm really invoking the method here and now we are able to find weekdays inside this list so here we'll learn how to combine these method invocations inside the stream method let's change the order as you can see if you change the order of these method invocations things will change because in this case you are filtering the stream items directly not after transforming the strings into dates that's why inside this filter invocation you are trying to filter the stream values since the is weekend method accepts date this code does not compile because d here is string because you did not transform uh, the items one by one yet there are strings here on this step but if you change the order and put it here first the values will be transformed into date by using this function and then they will be filtered so this is important you need to take care of the order of method invocations while using streams that's all for this chapter